Welcome to my bedroom makeover. Yeah? Oh, it feels like yard sale heat. And I saw my like absolute dream chair that I've been eyeing for like two years now. Stuffer, stuff, pillowed stuffer. <gasps> Is it not gonna fit? But wow, look at the vibes. Hello, I am finally done with this bedroom makeover video and I'm so excited because I've been working on this for the past few months So yes, welcome to my bedroom makeover I hope you enjoy the entire process And a little introduction for those of you that are potentially new Welcome, uh, my name is Tiffany and I'm an illustrator, a designer and I run my own small business where I sell a lot of merch that I design by myself I did my first YouTube, I guess like apartment makeover about a year and a half ago and back then my style was very pink and light and airy and although I like really do enjoy that style, I think my style in interior design has shifted a bit since then I would say. It's, I'm starting to enjoy a lot more of like terracotta colors with green colors, a lot of blacks and like dark wood stains instead of light wood stains. And honestly, now that I have more adult money that I can use on furniture, I'm starting to invest in a lot of the pieces that I would want to be like forever pieces or just pieces that I have for many, many years to come. A lot of my previous furniture, when I first moved out of my parents' home, maybe like three, three years ago, there are either like hand-me-downs that I took from home or a lot of them were gifted by sponsors and stuff like that. So I was just like really excited to finally be able to choose my own furniture and to make it like mine, wholeheartedly mine. And also now that I've moved all of my work stuff out of my room, I'm able to actually like make it into a place where I can enjoy myself, have hobbies, and decorate it. So I think that really drove me to want to make changes in this room, especially because I started to have a very huge passion with plants again. I actually started like loving plants a long time ago, maybe like five years ago, but recently I've been starting to get into like more plants, like terrariums and wabikusa balls and just like all these different things. I have like little codex balls and I'm just like very excited and I wanted a space where I could just work on that and like have that hobby on the side and have a place for it in my life. I'm actually a very big fan of a lot of different styles of interior design, but I particularly love mid-modern design and I feel like so does probably like half of the world, but I think my love for it kind of stemmed from my parents' home, which is kind of like a heavily inspired Eichler design house. And I just love the design of that house. And so I think it just carried into my love for like different furnitures and mid-modern pieces. And I kind of think my room ended up being like a combination of all of the styles that I like, although it's not like minimal in any way because I have so much stuff. I would say that everything I put in my room is sitting there with an intention, like everything is in its place for a reason and I usually like to keep my room fairly clean and tidy. So with all of that being said, I'm very excited to start the whole makeover and yeah, let's just get into it. Before I make any more changes to my room, I I'm gonna show you where I'm at with decorating and then I'm gonna film everything else because I wasn't planning on doing a room makeover but things are just aligning and things are working out so I guess y'all get a room makeover video now. Okay, so this is my front door. Um, I didn't really change anything here yet. I did a lot of changing here. Not... Eh, mm, I did a lot of rearranging. Like. This was always here, the furniture always stayed in the same place, but I just rearranged a lot of my plants and I also got some new plants from my friends 
and some flower frogs that I recently got on eBay. A new plant there, propagating some new plants here. Everything is the same here as well. And on this side, I put my vitamins inside of these like glass containers, which I don't recommend because apparently they're supposed to be in like these dark bottles so that the effects don't wear off, but they're aesthetic and I did it anyways and here we are. I think the biggest change that I've done so far is that I changed my bedding. So this bedding right here is my old one and it is like this plaid pink color which I still really like and I'm gonna keep as like a backup cover but I wanted to change the duvet inside because I've had this duvet since I was like in middle school and it's like starting to just flake off and pill and I thought it was time to change it, so I got a new one. I want to do something with that space. It's very bland right now. Whether it's adding more pillows or having like an accent pillow or maybe like an accent throw blanket that I can put somewhere. And uh, yeah, nothing has changed from here except the fact that I don't work here anymore. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I used to work out of my room and I had my whole like computer set up there with all my sketchbooks and it just became I didn't like it. I liked having a separate like work life area. So now I just have a table here. I sometimes journal here, but it has stayed here and nothing has changed. Also, I got this today off Facebook Marketplace. I was like staring at it for a good few days trying to decide if it was really ugly and grandpa looking or if it was very modern and chic. And I decided it's both, and that's the vibe that I'm going for. Also peep at my beautiful little flower frog. Okay, so I am currently gonna wait. I was technically supposed to go to LA today, and then I went to this mid-century furniture yard sale, and I snagged this really nice cabinet. And now I'm too excited to go home today. So I'm gonna go back to LA tomorrow morning instead so that I can get the cabinet in my room and maybe decorate it or rearrange it a little bit. I can't wait for it to come. I'm so excited. It's like, honestly, one of my best purchases ever. When the night is cold. It's right there, it's coming, my bookcase. Oh, in the room? Pivot. Yep. Now? And here's the yeah. Thank you. Is it going right here? Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. It's gonna replace the IKEA shelf. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Huge improvement. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, I can let snow out now. Snow! You want to see the new furniture? Oh, Ooh, it feels like yard sale heat. It's so warm. You wanna go in? Yeah. Is a cat tree now? So I literally just got back from LA probably for like five minutes and then I checked Instagram and someone was giving away some mid-modern furniture and they were five minutes away from me. So this is the piece that I got. It needs a little bit of work but it's gonna look so good next to my uh, bookcase that I got. Okay so here's what's happening right now. Um, I wasn't planning on getting a new desk chair because I already have one and it's a very comfortable one but I was scrolling Facebook marketplace and I saw my like absolute dream chair that I've been eyeing for like two years now and it's been sold out on the website that I found it on 
for two years. Like it hasn't been restocked since then. I'm driving half an hour out and half an hour back just for this chair. We need some tunes though. I've been using my flexi spot desks and chair for a couple of years now and they are amazing for a comfortable work at home experience. The one I'm currently using is the Electric Height Adjustable Standing Desk EN1, which is actually one of their best selling models. I really love how it is customizable with different color tabletops and legs as well as keypad features. The one I have has a height memory function that allows you to set up to three different heights for it to automatically rise to. It's so spacious and sturdy and everything that I love fits on top. Another favorite of mine is the FlexiSpot Ergonomic Office Chair, OC10. And low-key, high-key, all my housemates and guests have told me that my chair is the most comfortable in the house. And my favorite part of it is that you can adjust literally every part of the chair from the headpiece to the armrest to the flexibility of the back. Also, there's a lot of butt space, which is perfect for those that like to sit in different positions on their chairs like I do. Please check out FlexiSpot in the link in my description. They're having a FlexiSpot Day event from May 25th to May 27th, where there are amazing deals up to 50% off, plus some limited time flash sales on specific products. So please go take a look, and thank you FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. Today is the day I'm planning on painting my cabinet and my little side tables and stuff like that. I'm in a little bit of a time crunch because at 6 we're having people come over for an open mic night and it's 3.30. For the Evar cabinet that I got when I first moved into my first apartment, and I want to paint it like this. Um, I wanted it to be like a pop of color, but I didn't want it to be the center of attention. And I'm going to do the same thing to this table, but I'm only going to paint the legs three different colors. And I didn't Photoshop my last project, which is the little crate that's next to my bed. I was planning on removing that crate and putting in the mid-modern dresser that I found on the side of the streets. But I feel like there's no space. Like, the one that I found is really wide, and it's not like... It's just not a good spot for it, so I think I'm going to make over the crate with little mid-modern legs. I have actually leftover plates where the legs will go on to from the first time that I built my own little wooden table. So I'm gonna do that. Let's get some materials. I would need two of those to cover the entire thing. What? But I only need like half.
I learned that you can't just do this because it'll split the wood. You have to go like diagonally. So over here, I split the wood. Hmm. You have to do it diagonally. So that it, it has more wood contact. <laughs> Okay, painting, painting actually took a lot longer than I expected, but I really like how this table turned out. I think it's really cute with three different colored lugs. I think this also turned out cute, my little bedside table crate. I think this one I thought was gonna be cuter like this, but I kind of don't like it. This is not doing it for me. I don't like it at all. Okay, so here's the deal. A few days passed from when I painted this cabinet and I've grown a little fonder of it. I still don't think I wholeheartedly love it. I didn't really know what to do about it, so I posted on Instagram a poll and I pretty much told everyone my dilemma and the mid green door won. Yeah, I don't know, but I also got these recently in the mail they're just like these bronze looking hammered doorknobs that was before and that one's after Working on the last project for my room makeover, which is make a pillowcase for this stuffing stuffer stuff pillow stuffer. So I originally bought a cover for this, but IKEA was like, nah girl, this one ain't for you. We ran out. My plan is to take these colors. So I have a brown, a beige, and this like fun little floral pattern, and it's all like in the same color palette, warm tones, um, and I'm going to do a checker pattern. This is going to be so fun to pin all together and so Oh, 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 oh,
This is the progress so far. I need to turn it inside out. Um, I believe I made this a little bit too small for my stuffing pillow thing, so I might have to take out a little bit of the stuffing so that it will fit. But yeah! Oh my god! Cute! I was thinking it would either look really good or really corny, so this is not too shabby. Try not to inhale the fluff. Cute. Woman wants someone closely. Jose, what's the right? It's not my fault. Almost within until if you saw Dr. Klein, I mean, and I will do this until. Okay, I was hunting for something specific, which is a glass bowl that was big enough for my moss ball and while I was at the thrift store I got some frames and decor I got these like wooden frames with the rounded corners and then I found this one which is pretty similar to the frame that I got last time except I think this one's a little smaller and a little bit more orange then I got this one I might need to figure out how to polish this or maybe I'll just leave it as is the last thing I got was this wooden tulip and I'm thinking of sanding it down and repainting it. I got all this for like $4. Let's set up my moss ball. I'm gonna take the stuff out of this. <gasps> Is it not gonna fit? So I just came back from Daiso with my housemates and I got a few things for my moss ball and for decor. I also met a viewer. I'm so sorry I don't remember your name. I'm very, very bad with names. Thank you for saying hi. So the first thing I wanted to get for my moss ball was a cover because I was using saran wrap, which is fine, but it wasn't too cute. I was trying to look for a glass container that would be like the perfect size to cover it. I'm not sure if I like it yet, but it'll do the job for now. And what I like is also I can open it like this a little bit and then it'll have some airflow if I want some airflow in there. And I also needed a pipette and this is perfect, but I need it to like suck up and clean the water from the bottom and then put new water in. I think I'm going to use this for like future terrariums. I think it would be very cute. The last thing I got was this like really tiny magnetic propagation station and yeah I want to put a little propagation inside and then I can magnetize it to either my wall or my mirror or something but yeah that is my haul <laughs> been a bit since I worked on my room. I think I'm gonna do a little bit today. I got some pillowcases for my other pillows. So I have my like two main pillows and I recently got two extra pillows. 
game changer. Um, I got this like, I think it's supposed to be a taupe. And besides that, I'm going to work on setting up my little hobby station because it's kind of a mess right now. There's just a lot of things everywhere. Um, I bought a grow light and a lot of like potting mediums and stuff like that. So I kind of want to sort it out so it's not just over cluttering my room. like too gray but it blends in pretty well I like it I got this specific one because my friend also got this one and hers look pretty cool so I got the same one okay and I'm assuming this bends Okay. Ah, this bright. Ow. I've been thinking that this just looks really cluttered because I just put everything on it. I realized that like when I had bigger shapes, which were either white or terracotta or any color that's lighter than the wood, it stands out a lot more and it looks a lot better on there versus like if I had a dark face inside of there, it just looks very cluttered because it looks like there's something there, but it's not like making a statement. It's just kind of sitting on there, so. <laughs> I think I'm pretty content with this right now. I'm gonna stop touching it for a bit, but it's a lot less cluttered than before and every piece has a place on the shelf. So I'm feeling good about this. off all the small postcards on my wall because I absolutely love them. It makes my room a little cluttered. Maybe that's just because I'm a maximalist, but I really just want to be a minimalist, but we all know that that ain't gonna happen. So I'm gonna try anyways, but I know these postcards are probably gonna just go back up right after I take them off. Whoa, my walls are white. 
Ow. Heck yeah, cute. This is the first part of my room that I will show. This is probably one of my favorite sides just because I have this mid-modern shelf right here. And this is my baby. I will forever cherish. Um, I got you at a yard sale and I love you forever and ever and ever. It's not perfect. There are definitely some bits of it that are kind of like stained weird or like bits cracking off. But I mean, what can we expect? from finding this at an outdoor yard sale, right? Right here, I have this mirror in case I want to check myself out before I get out of my room. I honestly never use that because I have a whole wall of mirrors right here. But I just love mirrors. It's nice to have mirrors everywhere. It just reflects the light around the room and makes the room bigger. I have a little variegated rubber tree right here and a cute little pot that I did not repot it in yet because that one low-key broke during shipping and I had to glue it back together and yeah it's sitting on a wooden stool that my dad actually built and he gave it to me and over here I just have a bunch of knickknacks I know I have a lot of knickknacks and this is a great place to display all my knickknacks these are all of the plants that are okay in low light my room gets very dim during the summer times so I, I can only keep like low light stuff here this is my favorite plant like of all time. This is the silver satin pothos. It's a very slow grower, but I love him. And I have like prints and originals up here. I'm gonna just list out the artists that I have on this side of the wall. We got Furry Little Peach. We got Panope, another Panope. Got Thanks Shoe right there, another Thanks Shoe, and a Studio Meggie right here. I also have some cute flower frogs that don't have flowers in them because I don't buy my flowers nearly enough. So actually a lot of the frames, or I think all the frames on this wall were thrifted. So yeah, that's great. Honestly, I, found, I find the best frames while thrifting. In this corner, I have the biggest paper lantern known to man. It's not actually the biggest, but um, I got this off of like paperlantern.com or something. I'll link everything in the description. There's a gnat on it. Ew. I have a gnat problem right now. My plants are kind of too moist. I've always wanted one of these and I think it's a good like statement piece. And I also just love lamps. So I just have a lot of them. And trust me, I don't have all my lamps on for every single hour of the day. That would be way too much electricity. I only turn on like one or two at night. I just have an addiction to lamps. And so that's why I have a lot of lamps in my room. So under my paper lamp, I have this entire section, I have a Livia Falcaru poster that I got off of Society6. I got some dry flowers that my boyfriend bought me and I just dried and put them on the wall. And I low-key should stop hoarding dry flowers because my room just has too many. Down here, I have a Cupid Peperomia that I bought for way too much money. And it was, it was dying because it had like fungus leaves, like its leaves had fungus on them. So I had to cut off half of the leaves. Bouncing back, I've dropped it three times too many, but she's still thriving. She's still doing great. And under that, I have this round table that my neighbor was throwing out. And I thought it was kind of cute, but not really cute. So I wanted to paint over it. So now the legs are now tricolored and I think it's so much cuter. Also, I just have to say, a lot of the decor I have in my room, I reused it because I still really like them, and I just kind of reposition them differently. Down here is probably one of the best gifts I've ever received in my entire life. My dad made me this coffee table. 
a while back when he was into woodworking and he bought me the most expensive of expensive woods. I don't think it's the most expensive woods, but he bought me a more expensive wood and it's supposed to be a harder wood, but I just love it. I love the design. I love everything about it. There's a plushie that I made in college for my sewing lab class. I don't have the heart to throw him away, so he just sits here. Behind it, I have this Kina, Kina and Tam sweater that I wore like a few times. And then I stopped wearing because I thought it looked better as decor in my room. So it just sits here on a floor chair. And my rug is from Ikea. I bought it on sale. I was literally eyeing this rug for like a year. And then one day I walked in and there was like two left and it was on sale. So I snagged it. How could I not? I love a good sale. Now this is the other side of my room. Um, I had so many problems with this cabinet. I thought it was gonna be really pretty when I painted that yellow, but I'm so glad that I went with a middle tone of the white and the eucalyptus green on the back because this is much more of like what I wanted. I wanted something that was like very neutral compared to my room. I didn't want another piece that would just stand out way too much. And so this is like a good compromise of having more color in my room, but also just a little bit more subdued and in the back. And I put on these little bronze doorknob things that I got from Amazon and I like them. They're like little disco balls. They're really cute. Right here, another Livia Falcaru print. Got a Studio Maggie print over there. Lee Alexin, Lee Alexin original. She painted me an original. Okay, I'm gonna stop bragging about my original. Anyways, and over here I have some philodendron micans, which are very expensive, and my friend Ciara actually cut some for me off of her mother plant, and I am forever indebted to her for her generosity. Here I have a ceramic apple bear pot by Amy, which I love. She gave this to me like years ago, it feels like, and I still love it to this day. It's like one of my favorite pots. Here is a ficus audrey, which is pretty much a tree. <gasps> it has a baby leaf coming out. I have to get you a close-up, it's really cute. Here's a hoya carry, which is known as the heart leaf plant and everyone wants it. Yeah, it's pretty cute. And then I got a studio dalguna plushie. It's a little bunny that I really like. And no, I'm not too old for plushies. You're too old f to not have plushies. Um, I got a humidity level thingy here, and if you're wondering how humid it is in Nevada, it's currently 34%. Plants usually thrive in 60%, and this is 30, 34%, so that's what I'm working with. And I have a beautifully knit piece of one of my flowers. Um, one of my viewers gave it to me, and she's very talented, so thank you so much for giving me that. And over here is probably the most comfortable section of my room, which is my lovely bed. This is honestly like my favorite part of my room. I know I keep saying that. I feel like every part is my favorite part. But this, I literally spend so many hours just in my bed. And I think that's like my favorite hobby of all time is just being horizontal. And so I wanted to make the best experience for me to be horizontal all the time. I really wanted to extract colors from the room that I wanted onto my bed and have like different colors for each like pillowcase or bed sheet or bed cover. IKEA came in clutch. They had this, they had the bed sheets. The pillowcases were more expensive because I I don't know why I couldn't really find that color anywhere else, but I will link everything below. I just made that pillowcase for the small throw pillow today. Very proud of it, it matches everything very well. And my Lumi Bear is right there. Down here, I have my little bedside table. I painted my crate into this white one and I have little like mid-modern legs on the bottom that I painted with extra color paints that I had. And now this side. This is my hobby desk, the most important of it all. I'm very proud of finding this on Facebook Marketplace. It is probably one of my favorite finds because this is something that I've wanted for years as well. I got it from a very nice middle-aged man. It was in okay condition. So I give it an A+. 
I put it on a rug. I brought this rug from my past apartment. I didn't want the rolly chair to mess up the original carpet that came with this room because I definitely want my deposit back one day. And so I put down this rug and it works very well and it just matches with like the overall warm tones of this room. Um, this table is from Flexi Spots and they actually sponsor this video. You probably already know this because I inserted the sponsor earlier today, but this is the EN1 desk in case you forgot. And it's really good for when I'm tired of sitting all day and I want to stand instead. On top of it, I have this lamp that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. The lady that sold it to me said that her mother passed away a month and this belonged to her. And it was low-key covered in a lot of like smoke, smoking cigarette residue. I had to wipe it down many times, it was very dirty, but it's pretty clean now and I really love the shape of this and it looks like a little garlic. I think when I'm feeling very stressed or overwhelmed, this is kind of like my safe space and a place where I'm able to just relax and just kind of like tend to my little garden. It's a nice getaway from, I guess, stress and I think that's very important. Okay, so right here I have a ceramic little cup where I just put a bunch of like my extra brushes, scissors, I don't know, plant tools, stuff like that. A alcohol bottle that my roommates finished and I just took it so that I can put little propagations inside of it. Um, I have this asparagus fern, I believe. This guy I dug up from my parents' front yard like a month or two ago. He's kind of turning brown. I don't know what's up with him, but um, I really like this plant and I was hoping it would grow like really big so I can display it very cool somewhere on top of my bookshelf, but for now I'm just trying to keep it alive. I don't know what's going on. I just have a pebble tray for him for extra humidity, but yeah, he's my problem child. Most of these are actually free plants that I got from my friends and they're just like so generous because they're actually very expensive plants. I have a pink princess. I have a begonia in here. I have a bunch of other plants that I forgot the names of because I just got them. Um, paper leaf philodendron, I think. And I have a terrarium. I got really into making terrariums and moss balls because of my friends. I saw that they were getting into it. And so I was like, hey, when I come back to LA, can you guys help me make one? Cause it looks fun. Um, but yeah, all I have to do is like spray it five times a day. Okay, there you go. Yeah, in here I have a Caudex Stefania erecta, which I'm trying to wake up. And if you're into plants, I'm just going to go on a spiel right now, but you should get stratum because I planted this in stratum and she shot up a little green growth like within the first like few days of having her. And I thought that was crazy because usually people say it takes her like half a year to even show a little bit of green growing out of it but like she's already growing and she's growing like three stems right now i have a mister down here to add more water in my air because it's way too dry here i have a stick that i got from a trade it's supposed to be like a thai thai jasmine plant i don't know it has not done anything yet, so I'm kind of scared that I killed it. I have just random things here. And I recently got cute pots. I always love cute pots. I got this from Phil Phyllis Nursery? I don't know. I'll put the name on the screen. I, my memory is so bad. But yeah, I just planted this red emerald in it. And I think it's hella cute. Love the way that looks. Um, this also came from the same website. And I put my little peperomia in here. And that's really cute as well. This is my favorite find of all time. This is a prostrata. I think um, the one on the website is more green. So I'm, I'm thinking that this is maybe different. But it's supposed to be like a, like a pre-bonsai tree. Like people can use this to make little bonsais. Um, that's not my goal. My goal with this is just to make it look really cute and like structural. But yeah, that's one of my favorite plants that I've found. And if you're curious where I get all my pots, a lot of them I either take from home or my dad made them. Like for example, he made this black one right here, which is really cool. 
Um, I get some like saucer dishes from Daiso. They have some really cute ones there. And yeah, I just kind of, I don't know, I just get them from everywhere, honestly. A lot of them are from Goodwill or like I thrifted them somewhere. Um, I have some pasta lids as water tray catches as well. I have a little banana magnet right here and an avocado magnet. I got these from Miniso and I could not just leave them. They're so soft and cute. Okay, now this is the last thing I have to show you. Um, this is just like a wall hook that I got and it just matches the mid-modern vibes because it has like balls on it. And I just like to hang some bags on here to make it look like I have my life together. And that's the end of all of my makeover footage. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you like how my room turned out. I really love it and I feel like super comfortable in here all the time. It finally like feels 100% like me and it's, it's a really good feeling. I'd like to thank FlexiSpot again for sponsoring this video. And if you haven't checked them out yet, please make sure to do that. If you're new here, please like and subscribe and maybe comment and leave me a cute message because I like reading your little cute comments at the bottom. Thank you again for joining and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! See ya! I'm ready to take all this makeup off.